Hello and welcome to another episode of Crypto Charts. I am Fausto Botelho, broadcasting from Brazil, and here we use our experience in technical analysis and try to extract logical indications about the future behavior of the crypto prices. We've been talking about the S&P too, and today I'm going to be commenting on the last movement of the S&P. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin, and I'm going to be showing you how do we manage a position. We have uh, fortunately made a call for Binance. It's on the profit now, and I'm going to show you guys how do we manage, which is one of the most important things. It's very important for you to enter in the right time, but it's very important for you to, first of all, decide the size of your position. The size of your position is di directly connected to the risk that you're going to be taking in in any uh, position that you make. I usually don't comment on news, but today there's this news which I think it's very important. I think it's the news of the year in terms of Bitcoin. And uh, I want to uh, comment on that. So let's go for the news uh, in the first place, which is uh, something that uh, was in this uh, Biconist uh, site saying that Jack Dorsey, this guy here, which is the CEO of uh, Twitter, he uh, hinted that Bitcoin Lightning payments are coming to Twitter has become uh, the unlikely hero of Bitcoin social media, media after he joined the Lightning Network and said he would never own any altcoins. Uh, so he joined Lightning Network in a uh, tweet. Feb uh, today, Dorsey confirmed his participation in the Lightning Network Torch initiative, a relay uh, transaction started by a community member last month. Regular commentator Matt Otto invited Dorsey to send him an, an invoice via Lightning, which in turn would net him the transaction. Dorsey uh, obliged, leading to a flurry of excited tweets from well-known figures. But the important thing is that uh, Jack loved the idea of tipping in Satoshis on Twitter. Uh, and that happened because this gentleman, uh, I'm, I think it's a gentleman, I'm sorry if it's a, a lady, uh, uh, Amjad uh, Massad, uh, tweeted Jack saying, imagine a world where you can tip people with satoshis for their tweets. I bet content quality will go up. Jack, make it, make it happen. And he said he loves the idea. So uh, this, my friends, is the closest thing that I can imagine uh, to mass adoption of uh, Bitcoin. And I think it's uh, very good for the... Uh, Bitcoin environment. So let's move to the S&P now. Here in Focus Terminal. And let me show you what happened after the last video that I said I was expecting probably a reversal from here. It turned out that it was a sort of a flag. Market went up. It broke these uh, resistance trend line. But how important is this resistance trend line? Not very much. It had two points. It, I thought it could have could be making another one here. So uh, we have to throw that throw that away. Uh, so the market is reaching another resistance level, which is this one here. Let me show you uh, right over here. There's uh, some tops and bottoms here. Uh, bottom top. And the uh, market is near this uh, point, right? So it should face some resistance. Maybe it's already facing some resistance because today we had the first sign of weakness in this uh, bullish uh, short-term trend, which is a candle of indefinition, a dodgy. A dodgy says that the, the market it's not for buyers nor for sellers. And if we go to the hourly chart, uh, well, what's that here? 
Well, uh, maybe that could be seen a, as a, a drift, but not necessarily. Uh, the fact is that, uh, sorry, the S&P could well go to test its uh, more important resistance level, which is this uh, 2800. Uh, 2800, actually the top was 2825. 2825. But 2800, I think uh, it's uh, the most important resistance level. But anyway, at any time from now, it could reverse, revert. And, you know, I'm insisting on that because, uh, well, I commented many times here in the channel already. We have a lot of evidences that this trend is reverting. And uh, we still have, I think, we still have reasons to believe that we are seeing only a a reaction of the bearish trend, even though because in terms of uh, Dow definition, Charles Dow's definition of the Dow theory, definition of a, a bear market, um, you would have successful tops and bottoms, uh, successful lower tops and bottoms. And for the moment, we, 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 we're still in this situation, right? We so far had two uh, lower bottoms. This one is lower than this one. And we had lower tops. Uh, these ones here are lower than that one. So if the market reverses at any any point below this uh, last top, which is the 28, 25 uh, level that I showed you, uh, well, he's keeping on with the with the uh, trend, uh, lower tops and lower lows, right? So let's wait and see, uh, and then we'll have to watch what what's going to happen to Bitcoin if this uh, reversal turns into a uh, uh, turns into a downtrend a uh, that turns into a crash right so we we'll wait to see that now uh, talking about Bitcoin was it a flag that we seen today no I don't think so so here's the weekly chart and here's the uh, chart the possibility that I'm working with nowadays. Uh, I think we might as well be in a channel. Uh, I've I have to tell you that I work this channel in reversal engineering because usually we draw the support trend line and then we we draw a parallel line and take it to the tops of the upward trend. What I've done is that I first draw the, the guideline of the channel, this one here between these two tops, and then I brought a parallel line to the to whatever it touches the, the market. So if we bring it here, for instance, it will touch these uh, bottom and it will touch more or less here this uh, bottom of 2015 right so uh, that's what i'm working with and if we do that actually we cut a little this uh, low here the market could be could very well be in in a position to uh, reverse from now on now, this, uh, when we see from here, this uh, looks like a uh, triangle that would be a continuation pattern. But uh, is it? Because if we take this line here of the symmetrical triangle, it might as well be a reversal. And we have a good contest in order to to think that that was a reversal. There's support here. This is the projection of the descending triangle. So uh, going to the going to the daily chart, we can take a better look of this accumulation that we're seeing. And instead of thinking of this as a symmetrical triangle because is 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 the symmetrical triangle already broken i don't think so you know so uh, i just wanted to tell you that nowadays i'm working with this possibility the possibility that we have a neckline here 
and that this is a bottom. And because uh, the market keeps telling me that it's it doesn't have power to go down and it's drifting downwards. Uh, so I, I think this might as well be a right shoulder of a left shoulder, inverted head, and right shoulder. So let's wait and see. Last week, I, I told you that uh, the market had broken the support level here and didn't go through. And so what happened today? Well, he tested the supports and... Let's take a look in the hourly chart. And it's drifting down. So I think at any time we could see Bitcoin testing this line again. So that's my idea. It's uh, tough, folks. It's uh, tough uh, producing technical analysis in a situation like this, you know, because uh, by, by some reason my, my lights aren't on. Yeah, okay, now they are. It's tough to make technical analysis when markets are, you know, sideways. And when we're in a situation in which, uh, as I told you, uh, we've reached the a objective. So, uh, but I'm putting all my experience and uh, that's what I can see for now. So, uh, but anyway, I think on the Bitcoin standard uh, and I, I have a small portfolio of bitcoins uh, i trade and i hardly am on bitcoin itself uh, i've been in true usd fortunately when the market came down in december and but nowadays i'm trying to see which are the coins that are in position to uh, outperform bitcoin and as I told you in the beginning, uh, we have uh, uh, produced a call day before yesterday for Binance. And I'm going to be showing you first how do I, how do I uh, choose the coins that we recommend and how do we administrate a position. So let's go to the chart again. and. Let me show you our calls here. Uh, well, that's a call we made, but that's a, a, a call for a short position. Uh, and that's in Icon. Because Icon had broken this uh, rectangle, downward rectangle, and was producing. Well, actually, it did that. Now it's, uh, it was producing. We thought it was a flag, but now it, it's uh, looking more like a a drift so you might be thinking well who sells icon short well there are some exchanges where you can sell short icon uh, but anyway we we think it's important for us to publish a bearish indication because people that might have icon in their portfolio eventually will uh, look at this recommendation of ours in terms of uh, liquidating or covering or yeah liquidating its long position we did the same thing to my oh, my go and uh, it's going fairly well we made the call in here uh, in the 31 of january and the price was uh, 31497 satoshis so far uh, we have already moved the stop twice uh, and then we made this uh, very um, profitable for the moment call in binance binance coin and why was that that was because uh well let me show you here first that was because just because binance broke this resistance level but what was that resistance level? That's the most important thing. That's one of the most important things. Contest. What is the contest? What's the, the grade you, you, you will uh, offer for this uh, resistance level? Uh, well, look by yourselves. There's a top here. 
uh, in May 2018. Then there's another bottom in June, another top in July, another top in August, and then the top of uh, January. Now, so that was a very important resistance level, right? So whenever we make the call, we move to the early chart. And on the early chart, I have something that I want to show you guys. Well, the idea is that we put the stop on the second uh, technical event. And why is technical event and not necessarily the second support level? That is because eventually, my friends, these might produce something like that. Look. And if it does, we will eventually be able to draw a resistance line here. And if we do that, uh, sorry, a support uh, trend line here. And if we do that, the trend line becomes the first uh, technical event. So if the, play, the, if the prices are here, the first technical event will be the support trend line itself, and the second one will be the support here, right? So uh, whenever we have possibility to, to, to draw a uh, support trend line in the hourly chart, it's just as if we would uh, regulate the stop. We would, we would raise the stop from the second resistance, uh, sorry, so the, from the second support level to the first support level. Actually, we keep saying that it's uh, below the, the second technical event. First event would be the, the trend line and second one would be the support, right? But there's another very interesting thing, which we call the palm. The palm is, it was called like that because uh, when I, whenever I explain in my courses, and uh, by the way, you could wait for courses, for, for my course in English, it's coming. I'm releasing the Portuguese one uh, in a month or so, and right after I'll be releasing a course in English and also a book. Uh, that is already written. I'm just uh, rearranging it uh, to have some <coughs> crypto charts. Uh, so whenever I explain that, I tell my, my students that, you know, eventually you're going to put your stop at a certain distance from the price you're buying, right? We bought here in the blue line. Actually, uh, there's a mouse over here that you can see that we bought in the fort day before yesterday and at uh, 0.0020368, which is this level here. So uh, I used to say that we, we bought a certain distance. Uh, uh, the stop is at a certain distance. It was right below this level here from the price you're buying. And so I said, uh, let's suppose you, 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 your stop is a palm. A palm of your hand away. So that's why we call this the palm, right? Uh, that's for you to imagine, uh, for, actually, for you to calculate what is your profit loss ratio. And we, because one of the things of our method is that we just trade if the profit loss uh, ratio is more than two. In this case, it is about three, right? Because if that's the distance from the stop, it's that's what you're risking, then your profit, the profit you're expecting. And what is the profit I'm expecting? Now we have to go to the daily chart. Simple. It's for the prices to go to the to its last top its next important resistance level okay uh, but in the end i'm going to show you another possibility for binance so back to the early chart uh, and let me so that's why we calculate the palm but the palm also helps you in order to see how much you're risking in the position and look at this, because at the beginning I was, a, I, I was willing to risk a palm of oscillation. If the market would 
fall more than this palm, it would touch my stop order, and then I would be stopped out of the position, right? Sorry about that. There's a gap here. I think we lost the quotes. Uh, let me see if I update if it comes. But anyway, so this palm is here because it follow. Uh, we use it following the position, and it's always in the high highest point reached by the market. So look what's happening now. We've just moved the stop, but we did it today. But tomorrow, our stop is going to be almost two palms away from the high of the, of the, uh, of the market after we started the position. Right, so we're risking two palms now. We're risking giving away two palms for the possibility of gaining a palm from where the market has reached. So this is not working. Uh, statistically, it's not working in our favor, that situation, right? So that's why we will most probably, even if we have to go to the 15-minute chart, we will increase our stop for because of that. And actually, I think we already have, I was talking about that, but I think we already have a situation here in which we can we can draw this uh, support line. There's three three buttons already where we can draw this support line, especially especially if the market uh, breaks this. That seems to be a symmetrical triangle, right? If it breaks here, we most probably will raise our stop to this point here. Now, so what happens when the market reaches our objective our first objective are we going are we going to liquidate no we're not and why is that because we don't liquidate you know you shouldn't liquidate your position because you as well as myself as well as my partner that has uh, years decades of experience in the market are the worst person to decide when a position has produced what it might produce produced to you. Because, you know, our subconscious uh, uh, traps us, you know, confuses us. You know what? Uh, there's a lot of uh, traps, psychological traps waiting for you in the market. And one of them that I comment in my, my course and my book is the, uh, the trap of your subconscious. The point is, most probably, your grand-grandfather told your grandfather, that told your father, that told yourself, that to make money, you, what was it that you had to do again? You had to wake up early, you had to be disciplined, you had to study a lot, you had to do a lot, you had to suffer a lot, then eventually you would, you know, get there, right? Now, what happened? People enter in a situation, uh, in a position like this one in Binance, and in two days, 17%. If you're an American, you know, you can make in, in the fixed income, you can make 2.5, maybe 3% a year. So you know, there's 17% here for you, you know. So there's a voice that starts telling you, hey, you know, he who wants everything will lose everything, you know. It's better one in your hand than two flying away. But the point is, in the markets, you have to enter a position and you have to do your analysis be a professional before entering a position. After entering a position, my friends, remembering Rome, alia jacta est, a sorte está lançada in Portuguese, or whatever it may be. I don't know the exact translation in English. Sorry about that. But, you know, what you could have done is already done. Then, it's up to the market to decide 
How much does he want to give you? Oh, if he wants to take something out of you, because, you know, any position can take some money out of your pocket, right? So if the market wants to take some of you, because you're the guy that fixed the rules, and with our method, we fix the rules in terms that statistically, the statistics are, the odds are in our favor, right? So you fix the rules in order that if the market wants in that position to take some of uh, to take uh, to take money out of your pocket it will take a small little bit of money out of your pocket right because you are smart enough to place a stop order but if he wants to give you i tell you what i can receive any amount of money that a market can give me for instance in this binance case right Let's go back to the chart here. Uh, well, I'm expecting the market to go to where this bull figure is showing here. Let's go back to the daily chart. But look at that. Eventually, uh, I can see that after Binance has started as a coin in July 2017, it made a first upward movement of modest uh, 1800%. And then it corrected and it actually accumulated in this big pennant uh, triangle. And then it raised another 1100%. Having breaking this resistance level here makes me think that eventually Binance is going up to another one of these legs, upward legs. And so I picked a smaller one, which is this one here. See? Wave that would be wave number three is smaller than wave number one. I pick wave number three and project it from the low of what could have been wave four here. And here's what we get we get another objective, or 0 0.01. And this other objective, uh, which is right, let me draw a line here. This other objective, if reached, would give me another 286% above my present objective so what do we do what we do is that we don't liquidate a position we never liquidate a position only if we see a very important indication in terms of a reversal a candlestick reversal a engulfing a uh, evening star or something like that something like that happening in a very special uh, contest like a very important resistance line for instance like we're going to be seeing the market eventually reaching Binance right now right if it keeps going up we know that the 0 0.0026 level it's very important because it's the level of the last top a level after which the market dropped 45% in less than a month. So that's a very important level. But we're going to observe what is what is going to do there. But of course, we don't want to lose uh, the, 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 the price that we're going to get if the market reaches the, the objective, right? So what we will be doing is that we're going to tighten our stop. And by tightening our stop means that we're going to be tightening the stop from the second technical event to the first technical event. So this, uh, as you can see, this support trend line is very much inclined to the 90 degree level. Right? It's almost 70 degree, maybe 
45 over here, 60 to 70 degrees, uh, this angle, right? So uh, if the market reaches the objective, what we're going to be doing, and let's suppose it does something like that, okay? We would be, we would be having the stop in the second, uh, in the second technical event, which would be, first one would be the support trend line, second one would be the next support level. Instead of putting the stop here, we would use the line to produce a uh, moving, uh, a trailing stop, sorry, forgot the name. What is a trailing stop? A stop that changes every day. Because every day you're going to be increasing your stop right below this line. Okay? And so it's a trailing stop. And there goes your objective. And then eventually you're going to escape from a situation in which the market is going to do that. And it's going to go up again. And maybe eventually you might uh, adopt again the second uh, technical event. And you relax a little bit, even though, because you already made your first objective, right? But don't liquidate. Why to liquidate? I mean, I'm going to observe, I'm going to analyze, I'm going to use my technical anal analysis in order to uh, find out uh, where's, where can I, you know, tighten my stop. My stop has a valve. It doesn't go down in a long position, of course. It just goes up. So this is it. Cheer for our position there. Let's see if we reach the second objective. It was very nice uh, having your company here in the video. Thank you for uh, watching until now. Comment if you like the explanation I gave of how we administrate our position. Tell me your ideas about it and subscribe to the channel and, and share the, the video with your friends as well, in order to help us. If you ever uh, eventually want to open an account in Binance or Bitfinex, please help the channel and use the link that it's right below in the comments. So thank you very much for now, and, as, and I see you next time. Ciao.